Hello and welcome back to Digger Evans Model Railway. What we're looking at here is the building, uh, the row houses from Walther to Kip that I was uh, I was building. I did say that I would build it and then we'll come back and do the weathering. However, I ended up talking with a friend who uh, who knows all about social media trends and videos and YouTube and everything. He's got a he got a big following himself and he knows what he's doing successful man and uh, he drives a very fancy truck so and he said to me the thing that you think is going to be boring people are going to like seeing it and want to know how to do it so you should do it and stop being a clown digger get your finger out and do a proper video so what I'm going to do is show you what I did I glued all these windows in and uh, I used, for the windows, I used this glue and glaze, Deluxe Materials glue and glaze, and uh, you just place the window in and then put the glue around each the edge, and it all holds quite firm. The glue I've used to fix this part in is this Tamiya Extra Thin, and I'm gonna see if I can do the building with it. So I've got the first, I've got the first part in, which is the front piece of the building, and I've used Tamiya for that. Now this is the side piece, and it doesn't sit on. It sits, it sits. Oh, it's dead easy to connect it because it, it, it's kind of a slot together type of thing from from Walther. So I'll just put some light on, so we can see. Oops, because I don't know if that's been a good idea or a bad idea. We can all see that, and so as long as I hold that corner in place and hold that flush up to this edge, it should. I'll just run some of this stuff along. It should be all right. Just run it along. It reeks. Don't breathe it in. It's uh, it's not actually glue. It's it's something like methylene chloride or trichoethylene it's something that actually melts things together and so that's what uh that's what happens on the track i do apologize so that's all it is it's very easy to do and it goes off in a couple of seconds and it's really easy to do And it won't take very long at all and so that's what it is now i'm just going to put all the building together like that drop the roof in so we'll put this side on next we'll get on the inside of that together you know <laughs> I'm not doing this out right and we'll just run, do the same again run a bit of this stuff along along the join it's I've got the extra thin stuff so it, it sort of capillaries itself into each uh, each gap you know, you just run it along. I don't know how much it is, I forgot. I forgot how much I paid for it. It wasn't a lot, you know, probably uh, five quid or something like that for this jar of glue. You just gotta make sure everything's snug together. So we'll do this uh, back section and it'll be ready. There's a locating peg there for it. Once I've done the back section, it'll be ready to get the roof sorted and on. I was going to go for doing all the window dressings and, and things like that. But then I changed my mind and thought, no, I'm not. 
not doing all curtains in that because it's, it's going to a part of the layout where we're not going to be able to see inside the building very well at all and uh, I'm actually on with a, another project on the layout I'm renewing some of the old track that I've been having problems with so we'll uh, we'll probably show you that one next I'll just run some of this up here up this corner give it all a squeeze together and there you go that is how I've put the building together in a, just a couple of minutes using to my extra thin cement the windows was a similar affair using glue and glaze from deluxe materials and uh, that's the building all done just wants the roof painting and dropping in and then the details adding on the outside if we look at the front we can see that there's uh, a blank part here we've got in the kit blanking parts to go over that and cover that all up that's all it is just a quick quick look at how I've put the building together how it goes together etc and uh, we'll see you on the next video thank you very much for looking in i do appreciate each and every one of you and your uh, your support for my channel thank you very much and bye bye for now my friends do take care